Oh, hello there. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for tonight's live stream. We decided to mix it up a little bit. All live streams so far have been um, painting, kind of the last stage and all the detail goes in. So we thought tonight um, we just kind of uh, freeform draw a little bit, do a little sketching. I'm going to be using my iPad here. Um, I'm using Adobe Fresco. It's really the same thing as Procreate. Um, it almost exa works exactly the same way. Um, it's a couple of variants is why I like this over Procreate, but they're exactly the same. So this is all something you can do with just an eye pencil and iPad, and there are free programs you can sketch with. What I'm doing now is not complicated. I'm not painting. I'm not laying in lots of color. I'm just doing sketching. So all we're doing is kind of rough out some ideas, play around. I don't know. I haven't really thought about much what we would draw. Um, we just kind of decided to stream it a little while ago. So I think it'd be fun just to, you can see all the mistakes and what the ideas go through. And while I'm doing this, any questions you have, feel free to fire them through. We're gonna just uh, set this up. I'm sharing my screen so you can kind of see my iPad as I'm sketching. There's nothing uh, pre-done here, so we're just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna get rid of this layer here. I'm gonna pop a new layer, and we're gonna get after it. <clears throat> so I was thinking before the stream started, and I actually started to sketch a little, a little thing. So we're gonna just start messing around here with an idea. So what I usually start with is kind of the overall the max dimension. So you will also see in my sketch, I kind of have this um, textured paper look to it. Um, I like to sketch on top of that. It just gives me more of a paper feeling rather than just simple black on white. Um, so I've been using a dark brown ink and this uh, textured um, paper as a layer. So I'm just gonna draw right over that. I don't know, it just gives a little better feel to me. It's a little more natural and it's probably more enjoying to see for you guys too than it's not just black and white, you know, the boringness. I like the feel. It almost gives that papery kind of parchment look, so. Um, I just started a new layer. Um, again, so the way this works is the pen. Walk it through real quick. You know, these are my pen settings here. These are my favorites that I use. Um, but I have tons of brushes of every kind, um, different ones I've used and downloaded and tried. And I mean, this whole packs here of hundreds of brushes. So you can really be overwhelming. So I just I'm sticking with the pencil, like the basic. Going to my favorites. I'm going pencil at 13 points. So I'm just going to kind of start there and. Just gonna mess with some of the shapes and ideas we have. So I, I feel like I wanted some kind of tiki, crazy island vehicle, you know, with maybe a couple in there or something going on. So we're just gonna be rough, rough in some shapes here. Or just something I have in my mind. I wanna do some kind of, well, we'll see. We'll see what this looks like. And I'm gonna, I already don't like what's going on. So I, I will restart and reset and just undo. Kind of figure things out. I went a little bit big with the scale, so we have room for everything here. So we're gonna come with some kind of vehicle. So we're gonna mess with. So that. Oh One Colt says, "Howdy, I'm getting a tattoo of Dead Man's Hand in a few weeks. I'm extremely excited." Very cool. What's the name? Oh um, One Colt. Oh One Colt. Well, thank you for joining us. Good luck on your tattoo. Make sure you send me a picture when you're done so I can check it out. Very cool. Let me slide this one. Ken Blardney says, "Hi, David." Hey, Ken. Thanks for joining. Garcia popped in on Facebook, as did Carol Comroche. Says good evening. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Carol. You guys jumping in, Jose. So we're just playing around now with some ideas. I'm thinking maybe a tea bucket of some kind. Ken is saying, hey, how about that ramen piece? <laughs> <laughs> Underwater ramen piece. Islander feel to Milo it. says, howdy, sir. Hey, Milo. Thanks for joining me, man. Appreciate it. So I'm just a rough out a little shape here. What I want to do. Terrence over on YouTube says, I finally made it. Terrence, thanks for joining us. Glad you finally got here. <laughs> Ryan Perry says, do an evil Knievel, evil of Guadalupe. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Get an idea there. Mm. Christine says, "I always enjoy watching when I can." Thank you, Christine, for joining us. Appreciate it. I'm just kind of roughing out some shapes here and some ideas. I keep using doing the wrong scale, and I'm not gonna have room to do all I want to do here. So I'm just keep 
see me adjusting in size. And that's where digital really shines, is you can kind of mess around, I can change things, I can, you know, just keep working around. Once I get kind of the layout, then I'll start going in and kind of roughing some things in, bringing some things out. Aubrey says, I love your work, it's amazing. Aubrey or Audrey? Aubrey. Aubrey, thank you, appreciate that. Stuff here. All right. I like. Let's make it. Uh, let me... Is this a light touch you're using right now? Yeah, this is just a light touch. Kind of just gets shapes. What I'll do is I'll um, once I know where everything's gonna be, I'll go in and actually draw it. This is just so I, when I when I zoom in, I kind of know that's where those things are. So I'm just trying to get where people will be, where things are gonna be. <clears throat> Yeah, Dennis is saying, how about a little darker? <laughs> it's going to be. Don't you worry, everybody. <laughs> Dennis should get his eyes checked. Jose says, um, I love and have several of your prints. Questions. Have you ever done a print with any monsters like Frankenstein? So, oh, what's the name? Jose. So, Jose, I, I have, I've done some shrunken heads early in my career. Um, I don't usually do um, copywritten characters. I kind of try and stay away from that kind of stuff. Um, I do think these are characters that are mine, so I try to avoid things um, these days that aren't mine. Um, so I kind of do my own monsters and, and that kind of stuff. So if he got in early, he could have had some Frankenstein. Yeah, you could have Frankenstein <laughs> if he got in early. Yeah. <laughs> A few years ago. So we're gonna a little darker now, so start to see these this stuff start to come together. Nicole on Instagram says I have your art hanging in my home. Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate it. So we're just gonna kind of rough in this couple here, this little uh, Islander hot rod. This is a good test too to see as I draw. You know, do you guys you know? Is it fun to watch? Any darker? You know, we'll kind of figure all that kind of stuff out. Again, this this paper background might be too much contrast and not not showing through enough, so we may have to adjust that too. So we'll figure all that it's out. Coming up now. All right. Dan Martin pops in, says, "Hey y'all." Hey Dan, great to hear from you, man. More Arizonans. Everything's going great for you guys. So we're just gonna sketch a little tiki thing here and we'll figure it out as we go. I feel like I want this to be up here. It's funny I keep worrying about my hand that you guys can't see it, but. That's not a problem. That's, <laughs> that's a dumb fear. <laughs> there is a party going on above us. Yes, there is a massive rap party going on above us. The house above us. Yeah. <laughs> I, there I is think a, it might be a rap video. Yeah, there, there's a rap musician above us, and uh, they are um, definitely either filming tonight or something, so... <laughs> First, I'm pissed I wasn't invited because I think I should be in every rap video. I think it's a good, as we talked about the last stream, a professor of the game. Mm -hmm. If it was from um, 91 to 92 and a half, that's where my professor is and it runs out. Teal Tales says, what are you giving the shipping department for Christmas? Oh, they're lucky they're here, Teal Tales. They're lucky I let them stay. <laughs> They get everything all the time. Exactly. I know Grandma bought them some stuff. There is. I did see that there is some things under the uh, under the uh, under the uh, tree. That's the word. <laughs> I think she's gonna be a mermaid. So let's erase a little bit of that. I think she's got her legs hanging across them. Let's we'll see if that works in that small an area. All the scraps popped in. It says, uh, "Who doesn't love a good shrunken head?" Exactly. <laughs> and hello, everyone. <laughs> and, hello. and hello. Announces the arrival. <laughs> so what's happened here? I feel like she's distracting the dragon. Yeah, she's a little bit of distraction. But what's going on with my pen here? Let's see what's going on here. Let's see if my hand hit it or something. Yeah, 
that's what I did. My hand hit. Again, I have no pre-ideas here. I'm just kind of working through or figuring it out. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask away. And hopefully this won't suck. <laughs> we'll see if it's, you know, we'll figure it out. I think it's fun to see all the, the problems, you know, what you go through with these. You know, the, the challenges that I have to kind of figure out where things are going to be. Michael Stegman says, uh, joined late. What are you drinking? <laughs> I got my, uh, my tiki mug right here. And I have iced tea. I'll be <laughs> fully honest. Oh, don't drink an art. Yep. Yeah. I'm not cool. We've already talked about that. They really are shooting music videos. <laughs> yeah. I thought I saw a drone earlier. Yeah, yeah. Let's put his... And this is still the under layer, so I will go through afterwards and kind of refine everything. This is, and, or just move on to another drawing. We're just kind of, you know, figuring out from now what we're going to do, where we're at. Oh, Terrence on YouTube says, um, a little birdie told me I needed to join the petition for you to do a set of tarot cards. How much is this tarot card thing spreading? Oh, 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 no. Man. Oh, Terrence, you turn coat. How dare you? <laughs> You took the other team. Oh. I know. We are well aware. Oh, it's only 78 cards from what I understand. Yeah. Just quit, quit paint. Do it. Oh, Terrence. Stegman's saying, how come you don't have an adult drink? I know. I know. I don't feel quite relaxed yet. Yeah, I, I, still... we've been doing shipping nonstop, and I still... we. Haven't gotten the Halloween, the Halloween, the Christmas spirit yet, and even like slowed down. I've been doing today was deliveries. We've been boxing up stuff every day for the last two weeks, so this is like the first time we haven't had. I mean, we should have been just chilling out tonight. We'd be like, oh, let's live stream because we're just not good at relaxing yet. So it's a good question. Cody Brown pops in. What's going on, Cody Brown? Long time follower. <laughs> Carol says tarot cards. I'm in. We're well aware the tarot cards exist, people. It's 75 cards, man. Terrence said that uh, she was drinking um, and painting by numbers. Yes, your sister was. Yes. That's her form of art. Drinking a bunch and paint by numbers. Jose is saying, um, why a mermaid will the car be parked by the beach? Yes, this is going to be a very tropical, tropical piece. There'll be all kinds of... And so the way that my pieces usually work is I kind of, you know, will add all the crazy stuff as I start doing it. I have a couple ideas I want to put in here. There's a lot more nautical stuff for sure. Got some tiki torches. This all bamboo here. I think. Let's add the wheel to give you an idea where everything is here. <laughs> Carol says that the tarot deck can be less than 75. <laughs> that sounds told, totally doable, less than 75. Oh, it would take a year. Yeah, it'd be crazy. <laughs> Is it, do I do it? Do I have chips we, uh... Jade pops in on um, Instagram says, What's up, Sir David? What's going on, Jade? Thanks for joining the stream. Let's um, right, we'll come back to them. Let's let's uh, rip the car a little more here. I still think. All right, let's give her a drink. I want her hand there. So you think for the most part the details come later? Yeah. Like, well, this is like just forming it out. Yeah, it's kind of just roughing in areas. Once I'm sure of something, then I kind of, you know, will draw it more. <laughs> Cody Brown says, uh, I want some too. Just one card at a time. Exactly. Everybody wants tarot cards, apparently. I'm feeling pressure. 
pressure. Drink, umbrella, and a little tiki mug of some kind. We'll come back to that afterwards and rough that out. Spilling, of course. That's all terrible. Oh yeah, full, it's full, full concert up there. <laughs> to explain, the house above us was leased out to a rapper who's cutting a demo, and so for the last six months we've gotten to hear the, the makings of the demo. Yes. Terrence asks a good question. Um, you seem to cover a lot of subject matters. Is there one that you haven't done that you really want to and you just haven't gotten maybe the right inspiration? Oh, Terrence, there's a bunch that I haven't done yet that I want to do. Um, I'd love to do some kind of, you know, medieval piece. Um, I want to do a um, Mexican Jaguar, um, Aztec warrior kind of piece. Uh, I want to do, um, let's see what else is in the list I haven't done yet. Um, I, I have all kinds of subject ideas for, for genres I've done. But those are kind of some of the ones I know I want to get to that I haven't got to yet. But yeah, there's there's all kinds of, of fun stuff that I still want to um, still want to experiment with and try and do. So I'm just kind of roughing in this thing right here. Arcade official says a margarita and racing slicks. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even tell what the shit that is. That is terrible. Whoop, off it goes. Off it goes. It's weird to to sketch while people can see. Cause this is all the you know the, the this is all usually done, you know, in my head. So it's weird to, to definitely to, to, sh to share this part, which is usually uh, my more intimate mistakes, <laughs> private in intimate mistakes. So we'll, uh, I enjoy it though. It's kind of on the spot. Liz says I love it already. Thank you, Liz. It's gonna get better. We're gonna figure it out. Michael's saying that drink should be a painkiller. Well, how bad do you want this painting to be? <laughs> No, no problem. This is again. This is enjoyable, even as uh, as uncomfortable as it might be. It's damn, it's just fun. Again, I want people to see that. You know, you can you can draw. You can do this. You know, you can see all the mistakes that are made. This is this is how this is real life. This is how the mistakes happen. So, how would you handle this if this was done in like you were drawing with pencil or pen and ink? Like, do you? So the next, if Are you I okay making so many mistakes because you can, because you yes. You can take it back. So if, if this was for a, a, an inking, this is still how I would work. This is just a sketch that I would do. Um, I'll show you. So the, what I would do now is I would take this layer and I'll kind of show you guys what, what would happen next. Um, let me just. I'll show you. So I would take this layer and I would um, push it back like that, and then I would put a layer over it. Add a layer, and then I go over here, and I select an inking brush. So we'll just go with a classic inking brush. Then I would zoom in, and then I would basically, oops, that's gigantic, so I wouldn't use that brush. Make it smaller. And I would go in, and actually do the inking. So you you just keep getting darker and darker. Yes. Yeah, so this this is this is on this is because this. This style right here mimics how I paint, where it's on or it's off. You know, so what I'll do here is, now that I kind of have all my lines decided, this is just the fun part where I'm just making all the details work. So I'll pull out and let you see what this looks like 
but this is kind of this level now. All the tough decisions have been made. You feel like the tough decisions have been made? They would have at this point. I, I skipped to this point now to show you guys. Um, I kind of try and flush out any issues before I get to this point because you don't want to ink a bad drawing because that won't fix anything. So we're going to know if that's a bad one. Tail says it's uh, cool to see this entire process. Well, thank you, Tia. I'm, I'm glad to, to show, to sh well, I'm glad to share it, and I'm glad you guys want to see it. And you guys always watch the painting live. I, I just want to show you, you know, kind of what goes into some of the stuff here. So we'll show you here. And I'm, I'm still rushing this a little bit. I would be a little more refined with this. So it's a lot of drawing over your drawing over your drawing. Yes, your drawing. yes. Usually it's one drawing and then push back for a final drawing. Hmm. For inking. If I wasn't inking this and this was only going to be something that I was going to paint, I would just take the, I'd be a little more refined and just take my sketch, my loose sketch right to painting. It, I would not do this if I was going to paint this. So now you pull back, you can kind of see how refined that is. Stacy Kane says hi guys. Hey Stacy, welcome. Just showing everybody a little inking. It's about inking, I always do a little more, you know. Stuff and then you know. Cody's asking, uh, what app is this and what device are you using? So I'm using an iPad um, right now, just a regular iPad, it's an iPad Pro, um, and I'm using an iPencil. So basically, I'm just kind of going through and I'm using I'm using Adobe Fresco. That's because I have the full package and it comes with it. Um, I enjoy a little bit more of the deep diving stuff because I've been a Photoshop user for 20 years, so it's a little more comfortable to me. But you can use any; they all work exactly the same almost. There is no special. If you're just trying to draw, then you can use Procreate is a very common one, um, not that expensive. Um, Sketchbook Pro, uh, made by the Autodesk, is, is another one you can use, and they all do the same thing. So you can really do whatever you want. There's a bunch of varieties out there. So that's gonna show you, so that, that would be the next stage, and then what you do, I would turn off that layer and you have the inking. So you can see, and I have textures in there, and that's much more refined. So that's kind of show you the, the steps of, of how that works and how more refined those lines are. Um, let me show you real quick a finished one so you guys, guys kind of see. So this is more of a finished, same process. A little bit smaller in the center. So that's kind of the, the finished process where I just did a quick little inking, a little sketch, and then basically um, did the same exact way where I just traced over it with my inking. And that's as far as I took that piece, because it was just kind of a sketch on a plane. And I was like, I just wanted something, you know, maybe it's a t-shirt, maybe it's a sticker, I don't know. It's, it just wanted a, had a little funny idea in my head and I wanted to get it out. And that's just kind of a, a fun way and why I love digital, because I can kind of jump in and jump out, but save this file if I want it to be for something else. So, we can go back to here. I can turn off my inking layer. Liz says there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots of happy accidents, for sure. So we're back here. You know, and I'm kind of, I don't know. We'll see if I if I give a crap still, or we'll move on to another drawing. Christine says this is really fun to watch. Thanks for sharing. No problem. I'm glad you guys enjoy this. This is a little different, obviously. I'm trying to figure out, you know, I want you to be able to see things and figure it all out. I didn't think any kind of ideas, so maybe that's not helpful. And I should have pre-thought stuff, so we'll figure all that out if it helps, or... Nope, I saw my inking pen selected. Alicia over on IG says thanks for sharing this. It's cool to see it come to life, and I love your work. Thank you, Alicia. Glad you guys are digging it. All the warts and all. That's better. He tells us his hand is there. Let's um, let's throw the rope on this. And I'm plagiarizing myself because I I have did the. Uh, I had done a rescue tire as a back wheel on my tiki towing piece, and I, it makes me laugh every time I see it, so I'm gonna sue myself. So I don't know, something back there. Maybe there's two of those. But clearly the front of the car is all out of Willy Wonky here. Catawonk, we're just gonna, oops, too much. And again, this is why I love digital so much is I can just kind of, you know, free flow there's no wasted effort because I can just change it and move it. Like I have the back of the car, I have no idea what the front of the car is gonna look like or what I wanna do. I think we're gonna stretch it out a little bit. Let's... 
that's where the firewall would be. Let's give a little more of that. And the engine would be here-ish. A little engine there, and the headlights, and some kind of coconut headlights with candles in them, because that's funny. That's a grill. Give them, little, give them little front wheels here. There's the firewall. There's the boards. I'm trying to stay centered too. Let me know if, I, if I'm moving off center too much. And so for me, I gotta remind myself that this is, don't get too stuck in the details. You're just trying to flush out ideas. You know, this would be a small painting. This would be one of my small kind of things. So it's a, it's the, it's a smaller concept, it's a smaller idea. So I gotta remind myself to, you know, figure it out and then move along to whatever you're gonna do, but keep moving. But don't get over, don't start over rendering. Let's have a little smokestack of bamboo smokestacks. <laughs> Liz says it looks like a tiki version of the Munster's car. Exactly. <laughs> Let's have a crate engine that's actually a crate. Firewall over there. Let's do thatchings. Do you find yourself doing little details and, and stuff like that to kind of let your brain rest for a minute before you figure out the next step? I think my biggest problem is, is I, I just, I want to start rendering the detail. My, I want to start, you know, putting all the little, you know, if you see me paint, you know, I, I want to put all the little, you know, these little nooks and crannies and, and the lines and start getting everything wait. My biggest challenge is get a concept that works first and then you can start rendering everything. So it's, it's kind of constantly reminding myself to get it right first because if you, you ink a crap drawing, it's going to be a crap inking. There are some things that I'll draw and I'll look at and I'll go, okay, I know that that's wrong. I can easily fix that when I get there, you know, in my painting. I think let's have skull headlights because that's just better. And I think we're gonna cut off the top of the skull and it's gonna be a candle. And that's why I usually do the secondary drawings too, as you can see right now on the skull, there's so much junk lines from all these, you know, shape flushing that when I jump to my inking again, jump back to this, it's easy for me to get to where I want to be. Even with this junk skull outline I have here, I know that that's a key line. That's a key line there. I know what's important and what needs to be done. So I can kind of go in here and even with that crap line behind it, when you zoom out, like I don't need that. I mean, I had to, you know, that that's good enough. That, that's that's done at this point. So that's why I like to get to this stage. Sometimes I'll jump there early with a, a less than finished sketch underneath because I know like you know I know how in my head how it looks you know Just move on. yeah if that makes any sense yeah. but yeah I encourage any questions you guys have about this and, and again there's obviously there's ways that digital is better and I'll show you one right now a quick one you're like oh I made this the skull came out perfect well then don't waste time doing another one you go okay I like this guy let's uh, bear with me because this I'm not great at this part. Copy selection because I do so many um, use so many programs. Sometimes it takes me a while to get that. So I'm like, oh look, there's my other my other my other skull uh, headlight is right there. I'm getting a little tilt. It's a little different. M River AKC says uh, this is nice. What software are you using? So, what was the name again? M River AKC. M River is asking what kind of software I'm using. So I'm using a regular iPad with an iPencil and I'm using um, Fresco. 
I said earlier, there's no difference between, you know, if you're just doing sketching, there's no difference between Sketchbook Pro, Fresco, uh, Procreate. They all do the same thing. You can use any of them, you know, so I encourage you don't, don't worry about getting the perfect program. It doesn't matter. You know, they all do the same kind of thing. And I'm just basically doing, um, the reason you see the paper texture background is just something I've added in there because I like to sketch over that. But everything else is just, you know, bone stock in the program. So I'm gonna use the grill. Of course. So is this from just basic car knowledge? <laughs> yes. I mean, how do you, this is some basic. Uh, this yeah. This car does not exist. I, right? I have drawn uh, tea buckets before, so I have a little bit of you know knowledge about some car stuff, but it doesn't matter. I've, I'm not worried about exact car knowledge. I'd be more concerned that I have. Um, uh, it seems flammable. That my headers are made of bam bamboo would probably be a bigger concern. I don't see how this car rubs. Right? No. That's your problem. Okay, so M River AKC's name is Michael. There Michael. Go. That's easier. Yeah. Good question. We're just we're just messing around here. Um, I like that back. Let's, let's put where the other back wheel would be here, so you kind of know that there's another wheel there. Let's uh let's cheat. I'm not cheat, but we're gonna. I need to shrink him down to make him fit in this whole thing. So we're gonna just boop. a little adjustment there. Pull him back. Done. Let's give him a little shadow to be under, so you know what's going on there. Just because. All right, let's figure out what this wheel is going to be. I want to do a ship wheel, like a cat, you know, like a. What the hell is that term for that? What's a ship wheel just called? Ship, oh, ship wheel. Just ship wheel. <laughs> yeah, just a ship wheel. Yeah, that. So I want to do a ship wheel. I think that's funny. But this I mean, car is a mess. This car is a mess. I would not. I would not be. How do you account for perspective? So the key with drawing in general, and one of my biggest tips that I've kind of blew past on this kind of piece is, if I was drawing this piece from scratch, the best way to do this, and the way to get your perspective right, and I'll just turn off all these layers here, and I'll open a new layer. Let's say you're drawing a car. The best way is, is you gotta go big with the shape. You can't get stuck with everything else. So let's say I want kind of a hot roddy thing, so you start with a box, okay? That's gonna be the back of the car. So then you, you kind of work on your perspective. Your two-point perspective would be meaning that it drops down this way. And then we're going to three-point. It's a little difficult to get the whole perspective lesson, but break it down into shapes is the best way to get perspective. So here's the car shape. It's a hot rod, hot rod so you got the little, little T-buckety. And then you draw your wheels, and you know, you know, kind of work that way. Simplify everything into shapes. Like if I'm drawing a horse's head, don't get stuck with like, you know, you're like, okay, I'm gonna bring it over here. Don't get stuck with, okay, here's, there's an ear, and there's that, and it comes down here. Don't, don't, you gotta think of it this way. You go, there's a the big back jaw, and there's a big triangle that comes out, and there's a triangle nosy there. And start that. And then you go, okay, then you refine that shape. You're like, okay, there's that, that's there. That comes down there. I'm gonna stylize a little bit, but you know, that's, and then there's, those are there, you know, you kinda, Simple shapes first, and then the neck breaks like that, you know, and then you, then you can start, you know, okay, I want to be pissed off, you know, angry horse face, and you know, whatever you do. Simple, simple shapes, everything you're drawing. If you're like, okay, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a cool tiki mug. Okay, let's start with, you know, let, me, let me erase some of this stuff here. Let me delete this layer. Let's say, let's say a tiki, that's a great way, because that's a nice cylindrical object. So you're like, okay, here's, Here's a log. I'm gonna make it get bigger at the top. I've got to add a little bit of perspective. So meaning the top here is round, rounding up, and the top bottom here is coming down. So that gives me like it's, so your eye line would be right here. Here's the horizon line, if that makes sense, which means there's no perspective distortion. So I would draw my center line so I can kind of make a match. And you're like, okay, I wanna make a tiki. So they're all the same shape. They start with this. And where you go from there is really, Let's just get a line here. A line here. Maybe some bit of headdressy thing. 
Do I really, this is going to be a terrible tiki. But just to give an idea of... They all come from the same the same shape. So I have this thing. So now is where perspective plays in. So imagine if you cut this, this is cut. Well, if you're looking at it, like we said, you can see up underneath. So everything that's above that line, you can see underneath. So here, these are raised and it's kind of 3D. You can see that. This nose comes down. You, you wouldn't see on the, on the top, but you would see it kind of on the bottom there a little bit. You know, these are like this. You can see the edges as they go around. This is just kind of zipping through a lot of lessons here. I'm just trying to show it's all the basic shape that you can start refining shapes. And then you can go, okay, now you start refining. Here's the eye. Okay, I want to undershade the eye a little bit. And, you draw it that way and you're shade something in there. And then you do, you know, you're doing grain. It's all, you get smaller and smaller as you go, if that makes sense. You know, you start with this big shape and then you start refining, refining your shapes. You're like, okay, I want another hairline that way. And detail, detail, as you get closer, more and more detail as you go. So you're like, okay, I want teeth. And that turns around there. And then there's teeth. And mind you, I've drawn a ton of tiki, so this is, you don't just sit down and, and it, it's not, I'm not making it easy. It does take, you know, just figure out what, what kind of elements tiki's have, you know, because you always look at Home Depot tiki. So, that just. The real drawing. <laughs> yep, back to the real drawing. We're bouncing around. There's no rules. So, a billion people said uh, the ship's wheel is a helm. <laughs> yeah, see? I knew it was a word for it. Thank you, everybody. This is called a helm. Let's get back to it, apparently. Nathan Anderson says greetings. Hey, Nathan. Thanks for joining us again. We are free-form drawing here. We're just doing pieces, bouncing around. Apparently too long on some things. Um... Nathan's asking, are you using Procreate? So, no, I'm using um, uh, Adobe Fresco, which is just another version of, of just like Procreate. So they're, they're very similar. Kind of, you know, obviously there's a, some stuff in the Titan in there, but just to give me the idea, that's what I want. Now they know it's called a ship's helm. See, that's funny. I like that there. <laughs> Ed pops in to say, Arcelli, my mom says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for jumping in, Ed. Tell another Arcelli Michael, we said hello. Another Michael says, I've bought some of your paintings. Thank you, Michael, for snatching up some paintings. Thanks for joining us. Dan Martin's asking, how long do you spend on a sketch like this before deciding if it'll move into a full painting? Great question, Dan. So Dan's asking, how long would I spend on a sketch before deciding if it'll move on to a full painting? Um, pretty quick, I will know if it's, you know, how far I go with something. Like, and, we're looking at this now. Are you like, yeah, I want to do this couple in this car. I think this should be a painting. Yeah, like, this is refined enough where there's a bunch of things I want to do, um that I want to do is this is worth doing a small painting of like this is a, a fun cute idea it's not a huge you know I wouldn't do a huge 18 by 24 involved painting um, but it's definitely worth doing I think as a cute because it does complement some things I've done in the past I think it's a funny idea you know I think you know adding a little you know a little palm tree over here and some little stuff you know can really be a fun fun kind of thing you know put them on a little beach or maybe they're on a little island themselves you know and maybe, maybe yeah maybe it ends right here here's you know the, the water and we're kind of figuring that out, you know, with the little tree. Oops, let's come out of. So, realistically, with a sketch, I know pretty quick, and I also know if it's a turd, you know, if it's, if it's if the idea needs more work, and okay, that was a good try. The idea isn't flushed out yet. We need some more, some more effort. <laughs> Bjork popped in on Instagram and says, "Hey, how are you doing? This is something different." <laughs> Bjork's on Instagram, bouncing around. <laughs> Messing with us. So I'm just roughing in these here. A perfect example, this is kind of how rough these underdrawings are. This is, you know, just to show, I'm just getting myself where this tree would be. Oop, Michael says this would make a cool sticker. Thanks, Michael. Exactly. And some of these, this is kind of where we flush out, or maybe this is just a fun, you know, a t-shirt design, or it's, you know, or it's something else like that. Some of these designs literally become something else or just die on the vine. You know, some some ideas just aren't, they need more refining, they need more work, they're not what I intended them to be, they're not good enough or not strong enough, they need more more things with them, which is usually what it means. And 
if I bother to draw something, I've kind of mentally already flushed it out that it, it's you know it's worth doing, but I need to work on it to see if it's you know what is it, what kind of piece should it be. Make them look like they're on an island here. See, I shouldn't have shaded that thing in the bottom there. Let's make them half on an island. Bjork says, yeah, he's just keeping us on our toes. Exactly. <laughs> going to the different platforms. Let's... So we can, and that's why digital is great. Is I want to make a bigger, I want more stuff going on here. So we're going to shrink them a little bit. And now they're small. Now I can keep adding to the uh, the composition. So originally you thought, oh, this is just a couple in a car. Now you're thinking, yeah, more, more of a scene. Yeah, a little more of a scene. I, I had a little monkey in my mind. You know, it was driving the car. He didn't make it. Didn't make this cut. So he'll be in something else. You know, it's kind of bits and pieces that you're like, okay, I need something else here. That's too much. That's too little. And we kind of figure out those things. By doing these sketches, okay, little, you know, little tree over here too. And these are the kind of things that happen, you know, waiting in a doctor's office, waiting, you know, just drawing up by the pool, hanging out. And this kind of stuff it just keeps my brain working, and it's not painting. It's actually very relaxing because it's so uh, less committal almost compared to a painting. A painting. Once I've started, I've gone through all these steps. This, it's got to be finished. It has to be a full thing. This, you know, there's no, I can do whatever I want. These can be just put away. You know, some of these end up as, I save all these drawings and they end up as labels for a company for something, or they end up as shirts for us, or you know, small paintings. There's lots of different things they can be. Get some in the water over here, too. Terrence is saying, um, do you ever do tributes? Tributes? No. Terrence, do you mean like a commission kind of thing when you say tribute? Mission, or if it means like. So I think we should also add a big bird. A big fat bird up here. Because I'm digital, I can just go like that, get him out of his face. I hate that leaf, so we'll. Um, all right. Hope you guys are digging this. Michael says thanks again. I'd say longer, but I have to go to work. No problem, Michael. I guess you can go to work. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oops. So Terrence says what he meant was, um, do you ever do tributes like to honor or acknowledge someone or a thing? So I've done, um, so, is that, so uh, what's the name again? Terrence. Terrence is asking if I've done tributes to, to honor something. Yes, I've done lots of military pieces that have actually been commissioned by the family for a soldier um, to commemorate something or to memorialize in those kind of ways, yes. Um, I don't do pop culture stuff like that. I don't, it's a fine line. Um, I just don't like, I see a lot of art that's done to try and gain, you know, hey, look, I did a piece because it's in the news, you know, drawing Mandalorian and stuff like that because it's 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 cool right now. I try and avoid all those kind of things in that way. I enjoy the, the military tributes because they're from a family or it's a real thing, it's a real moment in time, and I can meet the people that I'm commemorating and see the effect it has on lives, be able to, to to make a family heirloom for somebody. So, in those kind of ways, it's, that, that's probably the limit of the um, the ones I would say I do like that. Uh, GL Hendricks says hello. Hello, GL Hendricks. Welcome. And um, Bjork is asking, how far do you go with details before it becomes too much? Great question. How far do I go with details before it becomes too much? F too far. Mm. Too far every time. Mm -hmm. um, I will draw these too much um, quite often because I like to. You know, it's, it's fun. To me, you can't have too many details. You know, I could just spend time on this, this little toucan forever. You know, because why not? You know, so we can kind of just play with him and, and, and be whatever he's going to be. Um, I think my toucan knowledge, um, I might need to 
to look that up. Mima Tower says hello. Hello, Mima Tower. Thanks for joining us. Let's draw on a toucan who is definitely going to be drinking. See, I don't... I need more room to draw the drinking. All right. Toucan's gone. No, we definitely need a bird. We need something to break. And so, perfect example of why I'm doing this. So, this is the kind of thing where there, you need visual interest, details. You know, things for me, what a characteristic of my paintings is is the things you find, that the the stuff that's going on. And I think right now to, to sell the celebration aspect, that something up here partying with them, you know, with legs out, some kind of bird like that. <laughs> A, a drunk bird. A drunk bird. I had the wrong kind of pose. That's why it was a little stale. He also drinks. That's much better now. The toucan have feathers on top of its head. And where did I get an accent from is a better question from that. So let's, uh, artist friend, let's look up Google. And let's look up a toucan. To make sure. Nope, straight, ah, see it's the straight back that I got wrong. That's why, Bonk. that's what was wrong. Matthew says, do you take requests for tattoo designs? I'd be interested in having you design them. So Matthew's asking if I do tattoo um, designs. I don't do that anymore, Matthew, sorry about that. We, um, I stopped doing that a few years ago and now I only do um, commission paintings, large scale commission paintings. Um, but feel free to use anything I've done in the past and, and get a tattoo made if you want, no problem at all. Uh, Mima wants you to reiterate what you're drawing on. So I'm drawing right now on an iPad and I'm using um, Adobe Fresco, which is just like Procreate and the other ones that everyone's using right now. Um, using an iPad, an eye pencil. You kind of see here the whole thing. I'm just drawing in different layers and uh, just um, on a regular iPad. Sorry, brain fart there. Jeez, he's a double fist. Yeah, yeah. It's my goodness. And straws are funny. Straws are funny. So, open there. Open there. Matthew says thanks for the info, though. No problem, Matt. Th Matthew, thank you for joining us here. So this goes back to just, it's the fun aspect of selling his, he looks weird. Let me fix his eyeballs. But, but having him up here, just, to me, just kind of, the whole party atmosphere. I love drawing big pieces with tons of characters doing fun stuff. Like um, party bars and the pieces I've done like that where there's just a billion things going on. Like I love those kind of pieces. Just so much fun to do a full scene of all these different characters, you know, doing their stuff. And when there's something like this where it's just a sketch, it doesn't matter. There's no, there's no rules. You know, take chances now because you don't want to be taking them, you know, experimenting that much in the final piece and be like, oh, I don't like that. Let me paint that whole part out. <laughs> you don't want to have to do that. So I'm just kind of carving out where his legs would be. This is the weird stuff we do. So now that you've looked at this and you think you might do a, a full piece of this, now what? So now that the key part is to figure out what size painting this would be if I was going to paint it. Um, how, because again, there's limits to how small you can make some of the skeletons where they still show up nice. And you know, you want to be able to, I don't want to paint this. I don't paint things numerous times. I paint things once, you know, I don't paint the same painting over and over again. Um, so I want to make sure I get it right the first time I do it and, it, and I go large enough with it to capture the details I want to capture. So that's kind of a, where the decision-making process goes. It's what I want to add to this, you know, which size should it be? You know, do I have a frame that, you know, I do a lot of vintage frames. Um, I got some sitting here. You know, this, you know, small pieces that, you know, are set for a piece already. Um, sneak peek, that's what it's going to be. But um, so do I have something that fits this? If not, then am I going a little bigger? Am I making a custom frame? All those things kind of factor into what a piece 
the the life of a piece, what it's going to be. And again, I, to me, like this, there's more things that I would add to this. Like, and the more things I add, the bigger the piece has to get because you can't draw these things that small. Like over in the corner, it's just not one of my pieces if there's not a rum barrel in here. Villain Creations says, um, "I have a deck of cards with your work on it." Love them. What's the name? Villain. Creations. Villain. Thank you for hanging out, man. Appreciate. It. Thanks for snagging those cards. Melody is asking, "Are your paintings oil or acrylic?" So Melody's asking if my paintings are oil or acrylic. So they are, the background is acrylic. I'm gonna finish one right here. So the background is acrylic. All the colors are gouache, kind of like an opaque watercolor. And then all the dark line work here you see is enamel. I'm not sure you can see that well on the camera or not. Instagram can't see, it. Instagram can't see it anyways. Okay, sorry Instagram. <clears throat> so, but you can see, I have a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel where you can see them all painted and you kind of see the, the layers go in, like the steps they go into. So it's, it's multiple, Multiple uh, mediums, and they kind of. This is the digital way that a lot of those start. There's some things I love to paint. I think barrels would definitely be one of them. Mina says, "Gotta have that barrel." Yeah, gotta have <laughs> barrels because I just I love drawing barrels. So he has his hands on her, both hands. No steering, no. No, no, no steering. Where are they gonna steer to? True. <laughs> true. Where are you going anyway? Yeah. How'd they get there? There's lots of questions. Hmm. And then the obligatory rum. Mm. And then we'll add a. Uh, I guess should be able to. And there, this is this is the part where I can pack too much in and have to and get, make myself go too large with it. You know, this is just the fun. This is just me me drawing for me and, and drawing the things I like to draw. You know, that may not you know make it in the final one, but I, you know, the more little fun things, the better. <laughs> John's like uh, just a couple of skeletons driving in a crazy railroad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, he's gonna have you know. Obligatory, you know, little bottle. Message in a bottle, it's gonna be floating over here. So, great tip right here, since I'm right here. Convergent lines. They are. John says he also has a deck of cards, and thank you. Oh, thank you, John. Appreciate it. Everybody's playing the cards out there. Olivia says, hey, hey. Hey, Olivia. Thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate it. Dan says, surprised there's no shark fin in there yet. Well, Dan, let me get there, man. That's a good point he's making. If you think there wasn't going to be a shark fin in there, if you think there wasn't going to be a shark fin in there, you're crazy. <laughs> and yes, there's probably a tentacle going to be somewhere, too. Yeah, let's do a tentacle. Let's wrap right around here. That's literally how fast, you know? So now there's going to be a shark and an octopus? This is a very dangerous island. Yeah, yeah. We should drive away. Oh. Oh, Melody says, we emailed last night, and I'm excited to get my first and second pieces of your work. This is awesome. Didn't know you did live feeds. Making my night. Oh, thank you, Mel Melody. 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 Appreciate it. Thank you for joining the stream. Glad you found it. Appreciate you grabbing some stuff too. Yeah, we've been doing these live streams now for a while, so we don't have any set schedule. We kind of bounce around, but we do them on Instagram, Facebook, um, and uh, uh, what am I missing? And YouTube. So you can, and also Twitch. So you can kind of catch us in all those areas, and uh, that's what we do. And Olivia says my order was delivered today. I'm so happy. Great art. Thank you, Olivia. Glad your order got there. It's a nightmare out there with the delivery system, so I'm excited your stuff got there. If you people order anything from me or any other small business, please give them, uh, be patient. It's a mess right now out there. The post office is a mess. Everything's a disaster, so just trying to get everything to everybody. 
interesting. <laughs> Dan says, I have questions about this small island supporting so much biodiversity. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on this island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And are they littering the bottles and the rum, or are they washing onto the island? These are all good questions. Everybody's got good questions. Mm. And where's the shark fin? I need to know. I'm going to get to the shark fin. Yep. Bjork is saying, I know what you need in this sketch. <laughs> you need a pirate. Mm hmm. I think we take take out the bottle because it, sh- totally it matches the shape. Agree. It matches the shape of the buoy too much. I agree. We've and, got the booze covered. Yeah. I love the buoy. The I, I love the buoy because it brings that string in, and I love how the string goes back in the water. Like, I love that part. You know what? Let's make a knot on that because that's going to be a knot. And I'll tell you, this this is it is fun doing this because you can see how random the process of creating is sometimes. Kate says this is killer. I love this. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. I have no idea what's going on at this point. <laughs> Nima says all that detail. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a hole. <laughs> what's going to happen here now? And that's why it's fun to see this. If you watch me do the inking part I was sharing with you earlier, it's, it's just kind of slow and a little more tedious. This is kind of this is very fluid and uh, and fun to watch, I think, because because there is it can be whatever. I mean, it can crash and burn. But again, some things are just are just drawn because they're fun to draw. You know, they're just fun to, to make this weird thing. Bill is saying, "Where's the tiki bar?" Where, are they Where the hell would this fit on the island? <laughs> Where does all this booze go? Okay, I made a mistake. I've, my island is finished. Well, that's what we have to do. See, here's okay. We're gonna fix some things here. We're gonna make some room. We're gonna grab this, which is all this, which is the tentacle too. We'll take that, and we're gonna drag that up here. Make some more room. We're gonna tilt it and get away from them a little bit. Yay, digital. All right, there you go. Now it frames them a little more. And I have more room for our tentacles to, to fully work this tree over. What's our time at right now? About an hour. All right. So I think the eye pencil will probably crap out within the next 15, 20 minutes. So you know what? Let me just see where we're at. I think I can check that, right? Oh, shit. Hold on, everybody. Bink. Let's just make oh, I hate the iPad. Where does that look? All right. When it goes, it just goes. <laughs> so we'll. A little more room. I don't like that curve. Let's fix that. Now we have plenty of room over there for a shark fin. That's a huge shark's fin that we've drawn here. Bjork says, press save. <laughs> Luckily, this saves everything and a time lapse. So that's one of the fun things I, I would say about Procreate and digital stuff too, is that um, this does save it as a time lapse. So everything is, you know, the entire, without me doing anything, it's the entire thing is saved. And I can view it as a time lapse, which is really a neat, a neat thing for sure. I was addressing the dog situation, and uh, that's a big shark fin. Yeah. <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> but 
but that gives me enough room where I can do a big hook in it. That's funny though, it's an appropriate size shark fin. Ken, this says, hi David, I met you once at the Wonderground Gallery and I still have the prints I bought then uh, up on my desk as a reminder to keep working hard on painting. Glad to see you painting again. Hey Candace, thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for coming by Disney and seeing us. It's a pretty big bummer that uh, Wonderground is gone, but again, thank you for coming by and I appreciate you following now. We'll miss my time there for sure. Glad you found the stream. We have packed a lot in this thing here. <laughs> I think it's probably, probably some editing that we need to do. No, no editing. <laughs> Duke needs a beach hat. It's a beach hat. I'm gonna straw stuck on an island hat. I don't think it's a straw stuck on an island hat, is it? that look like? That would be... Uh, that one? Nope, that looks like it's a sombrero. I'm the mid undoos. We have a lot going on here, folks. So now we're gonna add just a little bit of uh, some shadow in here. So let me get that so you can see that. <laughs> Emma says, oh my God, the toucan is double fisting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, cause that's what toucans do, man. You cannot invite them to the party. is the, the engine area is just a big blah. Like, what is that? So we can go in here. <laughs> Darren said, uh, I wasn't drinking before, but I'm inspired now. Honey bourbon. There you go. Ooh. Glad I can, I'm glad I can inspire? Mm. <laughs> You've inspired alcohol. Let's make the inside of the engine a treasure chest. So we're going to make all the stuff coming out of the treasure chest. So we're going to have... Julie says, I love the tropical vibe here. Thank you, Julie. Welcome. We're doing something. Some vibe. <laughs> okay, we need to make a treasure chest coming. The piece coming out of the treasure chest. How would that look like? So those would be there. This would go like this. That's the lid. It would go up like that. And then this would come down. All right, now I'm going to carve all that crap out. I like figure some of this stuff out on the fly. Sure, that'll work. I don't know. And because we have so much going on, there's some things that just won't won't translate. I don't know if you would even know that's a treasure chest, but maybe there needs to be a bigger painting to show that. challenges 
There's three grains of wood all the same. So now I'm just basically just kind of, you know, cleaning up some things, but this is kind of where we'd be at this point. So the next steps for me would be look at it and say, okay, what's, is it finished? Is there anything I want to change before it goes to the paint si style? And what size would we be doing this painting? You know, where, where are we thinking here? Rocks on the islands. Stuff. No, I can fit nothing else on the island. That's clear. <laughs> I think we're done there. Let's fix these bam, make them more bamboo. Unless like just plain stacks. The bamboo has the swelling at the, at the seams. So you gotta put that in there. So it sells bamboo. Put that in there. Put a ring. Put a ring. All right, I think we're getting close here, so get your last questions in. Hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed this. If you like this, let me know. Do you like seeing this? Do you like seeing more of the, you know, the painting stuff or just mixing it in? Because uh, we can always add more of this stuff, so. Let me know what you think. The dogs have made it clear that this is coming to an end also. Again, I appreciate you guys joining me. You guys all make this happen. So you can kind of have a final look here, where we where we're at. Scrap says this was great. Thank you, Scrap. Appreciate it. For Instagram, I'll give you the swipe pass here. Candace says this was awesome. Thanks, Candace. Appreciate it. This is really fun. So I, again, I look forward to do some more of these kind of things. Again, when they would do a little. Christmas Day or Eve when everyone's just farting around, we'll do a little uh, Mad Lib style or we'll just do some more of these, but you gotta enjoy this. You can kind of see how it all happens and how it all works. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Darren said, but I just started drinking. Oh. <laughs> no, drinking alone. Let's put a little Band-Aid on the, on the shark. Well, Terrence, I expect you to show up drunk the next time earlier. You got to pre. Mm -hmm. See what time the stream's got on and, and get ready to go. <laughs> so I think the last thing I'm going to... says, thanks for sharing. Amazing to see your work. Thank you, Nima. Appreciate it. Again, thank you guys for uh, for hanging out. This is this was... Uh, we weren't sure when I started if this was going to be something we want to do, but you guys made it really fun. I hope everybody can see it and show it. And I'll post up the finished picture so you can get a closer look at it in the uh, in the thread. But again, thank you guys. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up there. Just shows you you don't need you don't need a pad either. You can do this with pencil paper. Don't let this stuff make you think you need this stuff. All right. So I encourage you to get out there and draw. All you need is you know anything that writes and just a piece of paper. So thank you again for joining me, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>